In the shadowed nooks of ancient forests and the hidden crevices of our digital lives lurks a creature as old as imagination itself, the troll. A being of myth and folklore, trolls have guarded the ancient bridges between worlds, both literal and metaphorical, demanding their toll not in coins, but in the currency of riddles, flesh, or even our online peace of mind. This journey into the realm of trolls, facts and fiction is not merely a trek through the misty forests of Scandinavia or the pixelated pathways of the internet. It's an exploration of the human psyche, our fears, our joys, and the tales we tell to make sense of the unknown. From their earliest mentions in Norse mythology, where they walked among gods and heroes, to their modern incarnations in films, literature, and the ubiquitous realm of the internet, trolls have undergone a transformation that mirrors our own evolution in understanding the world around us. Once seen as malevolent creatures lurking on the fringes of human settlements, trolls today occupy a complex space in our cultural imagination, embodying everything from the misunderstood outcast to the playful trickster, from the guardian of nature's most sacred places to the faceless antagonist of the digital age. As we embark on this exploration, we'll delve deep into the heart of these tales, uncovering the historical relevance of trolls, their myriad depictions in myths and legends, their cultural significances across different societies, and their surprising relevance in today's digital landscapes. This article promises to be a tapestry woven from threads of facts and fictions, a narrative that invites you to look beyond the bridge and into the shadowy depths where trolls still roam, both in our world and in the recesses of our collective imaginations. Welcome to a journey where every turn in the path reveals a new facet of these enigmatic beings inviting us to question what it means to be monstrous, misunderstood, and, ultimately, magical. The enigmatic figure of the troll has long cast a shadow over the folklore and myths of Northern Europe, a testament to humanity's enduring fascination with the creatures that dwell in the margins of the known world. To fully grasp the historical relevance of trolls, we must venture back to the mist-shrouded landscapes of ancient Scandinavia and beyond where these beings first emerged from the oral traditions of the Norse and other Germanic peoples. Trolls, as we understand them today, are largely rooted in the Norse mythology and Scandinavian folklore of the Viking Age, circa 793 to 1066 AD. In these early accounts, trolls were not the cartoonish figures of modern imagination, but formidable beings that inhabited the wild places of the earth, forests, mountains, and deep caves. They were part of the Jotna, often translated as giants in English, though not all were giant in size. Some could be as small as humans or even smaller. The sagas and eddas, collections of old Norse poems and stories, offer glimpses into the trolls' characteristics and their interactions with gods and mortals. Trolls were described as beings of great strength and magic, often hostile to humans. They were creatures of the night, as sunlight could turn them to stone, a motif that echoes through many cultures' myths of the monstrous and otherworldly. As Christianity spread across Scandinavia, the perception and narrative surrounding trolls began to shift. In medieval texts, trolls were increasingly depicted as antagonists to the Christian heroes, embodying the remnants of a pagan past. This transformation reflected the broader cultural and religious changes sweeping across Europe. The folklore of different Scandinavian regions offers a diverse tapestry of troll stories. In Norway, trolls were often associated with the rugged mountains and were said to live in dark caves or under stone bridges. Swedish and Danish tales sometimes depicted trolls as less malevolent, occasionally foolish, and capable of being outwitted by humans. Trolls were deeply intertwined with the Nordic landscape. Natural features such as boulders, caves, and peculiarly shaped mountains were often explained as the work of trolls or as trolls themselves, petrified by exposure to sunlight. This link between trolls and the land reflects a broader theme in mythology, the embodiment of nature's inexplicable power and mystery in mythic form. The transition from oral traditions to written stories marked a new chapter in the life of trolls. In the 19th and early 20th centuries, as folklorists and writers began to collect and publish traditional stories, trolls found a new audience. This period saw a romantic revival of interest in folklore, with trolls becoming characters in literary works, 
symbolizing a connection to the wild, untamed nature and a simpler, mythical past. One notable figure in the preservation and transformation of troll lore was the Norwegian folklorist Peter Christen Asbjensen. Alongside Jorgen Moe, Asbjensen published Norsk Folk Eventer, Norwegian Folk Tales, a collection that brought many traditional troll stories to paper, ensuring their preservation and introducing them to a broader audience. The historical relevance of trolls extends beyond their mythological origins and medieval transformations. In contemporary times, they have been reimagined and reintegrated into popular culture, appearing in literature, films, and digital media, often in forms far removed from their menacing ancestral roots. Yet, the core of what makes a troll, their connection to the natural world, their elusiveness, and their capacity to inspire fear and wonder, remains unchanged. The journey of trolls from the oral traditions of the Norse to the digital tales of today is a testament to their enduring appeal. They continue to evolve, reflecting the values, fears, and imaginations of each new generation. Trolls, in their myriad forms, serve as a bridge between the ancient and the modern, reminding us of the power of storytelling to connect us to our past, to the natural world, and to the unknown. The tapestry of Norse mythology and Scandinavian folklore is richly embroidered with stories of trolls, creatures that embody the mysteries and fears of the natural world. These myths and legends, passed down through generations, offer a window into the ancient Norse worldview, where the boundary between the human and supernatural realms was porous, and beings like trolls roamed the edges of civilization. In the ancient texts of Norse mythology, Trolls are often mentioned in passing, their stories intertwined with those of gods, giants, Jotna, and other mythical creatures. Unlike the gods of Asgard, who were seen as protectors of humanity, trolls were often depicted as adversaries or challenges to be overcome. Their representation varied from mischievous troublemakers to formidable foes, existing in opposition to the ordered world of humans and gods. One of the most famous mentions of a troll-like creature is in the saga of Beowulf, an epic poem from the early Middle Ages. Though not a Norse text per se, it reflects the broader Germanic mythology shared by the Norse. Grendel, the poem's antagonist, is often thought of as a type of troll or monstrous being embodying the fears and dangers of the wild. Scandinavian folk tales present a more nuanced view of trolls showcasing a variety of characters and stories that range from the benign to the malevolent. These stories were not merely entertainment, they served as cautionary tales that reflected the values, fears, and morals of the societies that told them. The Three Billy Goats Gruff, perhaps one of the most famous troll tales, this Norwegian folk story tells of three goats who must outwit a troll living under a bridge to reach the green pastures on the other side. The story highlights themes of cunning over brute strength and the dangers lurking in uncharted territories. Trolls and the Hidden People In some tales, trolls are closely associated with the Holdu folk or hidden people, a theme particularly prominent in Icelandic folklore. These stories often involve trolls kidnapping humans or being outsmarted by them, reflecting the complex relationship between humans and the supernatural elements of the world. Over time, the depiction of trolls in myths and legends evolved, influenced by Christianization and the changing landscapes of Nordic societies. Trolls became increasingly malevolent in stories, often serving as antagonists to the Christian heroes or symbols of the pagan past that the new religion sought to supplant. Yet, even as their roles in stories changed, trolls retained their connection to the natural world. They were still creatures of stone and earth, tied to the mountains, forests, and rivers of the Scandinavian landscape. This enduring connection suggests that trolls, in their many forms, represent not just the fear of the unknown, but also a deep reverence for the natural world. Today, the myths and legends of trolls continue to inspire new stories in literature, film, and other media. Modern renditions often reinterpret the traditional tales, sometimes casting trolls in a more sympathetic light or exploring their mythical origins in innovative ways. The enduring appeal of troll stories lies in their ability to adapt and evolve while retaining their core themes. The clash between civilization and wilderness, the thin line between the known and the unknown, and the timeless dance of cunning, strength, and magic. 
These tales, with their deep roots in the ancient world, continue to captivate and intrigue, reminding us of the power of mythology to speak to universal human experiences. As we delve deeper into the realm of myths and legends, the figure of the troll stands tall, a bridge between the past and the present, between the earthy roots of folklore and the soaring heights of imagination. The figure of the troll, emerging from the depths of Norse mythology and Scandinavian folklore, transcends mere myth to become a potent symbol within various cultures. This cultural relevance of trolls is not just a testament to their enduring legacy in stories and legends, but also reflects their ability to adapt and resonate with contemporary themes and societal issues. Trolls have been imbued with a rich tapestry of symbolic meanings throughout the centuries. Originally, they might have represented the untamed forces of nature or the dangers lurking beyond the safety of the community. In this context, trolls are the embodiment of the unknown, serving as a cautionary reminder of the perils that lie outside the familiar confines of human society. As societies evolved, so too did the symbolic significance of trolls. In the modern era, they have come to represent various aspects of the human condition, including the fear of the other the wildness within, and the shadow aspects of our personalities that we often seek to hide or suppress. Trolls challenge us to confront these aspects of ourselves and our societies, pushing us to explore the boundaries between good and evil, civilization and wilderness. The cultural impact of trolls extends beyond their symbolic representation in literature and art. It permeates various festivals and traditions across Scandinavia and beyond. For instance, in Norway, Troll figurines and motifs are commonplace, found in everything from tourist souvenirs to traditional crafts. The image of the troll plays a significant role in Norwegian identity, symbolizing a connection to the natural landscape and its ancient past. In Iceland, the belief in trolls and the hidden people, folk, is woven into the national psyche, influencing everything from the naming of places to environmental conservation efforts construction projects have been altered or relocated to avoid disturbing the rocks and hills believed to be inhabited by these beings, showcasing a profound respect for the folklore that shapes the land and its people. In Scandinavian countries, trolls have become part of the national identity, serving as a link to a shared mythological heritage. They are a reminder of a time when the world was enchanted, filled with beings and forces beyond human understanding. This connection to the past is not merely nostalgic, it offers a lens through which to view contemporary issues, such as environmentalism, community, and the preservation of cultural heritage. Trolls also play a role in the global perception of Scandinavian culture, contributing to the allure and mystique of the Nordic countries. They are ambassadors of a rich folklore tradition that continues to intrigue and attract people from around the world eager to explore the landscapes and stories where trolls still roam, if only in the imagination. The digital age has given trolls a new realm to inhabit, from the internet phenomenon of trolling, to their presence in global media and entertainment. This modern incarnation of trolls reflects the adaptability of the myth, allowing it to remain relevant in an ever-changing world. However, it also poses challenges to the preservation of traditional narratives as the global exchange of culture can dilute or transform these ancient beings into something far removed from their mythological roots. Despite these challenges, the cultural relevance of trolls endures. They continue to inspire artists, writers, and filmmakers, serving as a bridge between the ancient and the modern, the local and the global. Trolls remind us of the power of folklore to connect us to our past, to each other and to the mysterious forces that animate the world around us. In exploring the cultural significance of trolls, we uncover not just the history of a myth, but the ongoing story of how we understand and interpret the world. Trolls, in their many guises, invite us to journey into the forests of our imagination, where the wild and the wondrous await. The lore of trolls, steeped in the rich tapestry of Norse mythology and Scandinavian folklore, presents a fascinating array of characters, each with unique traits and appearances. This diversity not only highlights the creativity of traditional storytellers, but also reflects the varied landscapes of the Nordic countries, from dense forests and high mountains to deep fjords and rugged coastlines. Trolls, in their many forms, embody the essence of these wild places, 
taking on characteristics that mirror the environments they inhabit. Traditionally, trolls are depicted as large and imposing figures, often possessing great strength and a somewhat grotesque appearance. Their size can vary dramatically, from towering giants capable of hurling boulders to smaller, more human-sized beings that blend into the forest. Some tales describe them with features that are distinctly non-human, such as multiple heads, eyes as large as saucers, or noses that could stir the depths of rivers. The skin of a troll is often described as tough and leathery, sometimes covered in fur or moss, allowing them to camouflage with their natural surroundings. Their hair, wild and unkempt, might resemble the foliage of the woods or the grey of the mountain stone, further blurring the line between the creature and the landscape it inhabits. The Scandinavian folklore differentiates between various types of trolls, each adapted to its specific environment and imbued with distinct characteristics. Forest trolls, these trolls are said to dwell in the dense woods of Scandinavia, blending seamlessly with the trees. They are the guardians of the forest, often depicted as either benevolent spirits of nature or malevolent beings that ensnare unwary travelers. Mountain trolls, towering and rugged, mountain trolls are as much a part of the rocky landscape as the boulders and cliffs themselves. They are known for their incredible strength and are often depicted living in caves or under stone bridges, guarding the paths that wind through their domain. Frost trolls, found in the tales of the far north, frost trolls are beings of ice and snow. Their skin is pale, and their eyes glimmer like frozen lakes. These trolls embody the harshness of winter and are said to possess the power to control the cold. Sea trolls, lurking in the depths of the fjords and along the coastlines, sea trolls are associated with the water. They are often described as having scales and fins, with some tales attributing them the ability to cause storms and shipwrecks. Cave trolls, residing deep within the earth, cave trolls are associated with darkness and the underground world. They are said to be miners of precious metals and guardians of hidden treasures reflecting the human fascination with the riches beneath the Earth's surface. In contemporary representations, the image of trolls has evolved significantly, influenced by literature, cinema, and digital media. Modern trolls might retain some traditional features, such as their size and strength, but are often given a more fantastical or even whimsical twist. This creative freedom allows for a broad range of interpretations, from the terrifying to the endearing reflecting the versatility of the troll mythos in adapting to modern sensibilities. Despite these variations, the core essence of trolls remains unchanged, they are creatures of the threshold, dwelling in the spaces between worlds. Whether serving as protectors of the natural realm, symbols of untamed wilderness, or embodiments of ancient fears, trolls continue to captivate the imagination, inviting us to explore the wild, mysterious, and magical aspects of the world and ourselves. The enduring fascination with trolls, in all their diverse forms, speaks to the universal appeal of mythological creatures that embody the complexities of nature and humanity. As we delve into the stories and legends of trolls, we are reminded of the power of folklore to enrich our understanding of the world and to inspire or in the face of the unknown. In the rich tapestry of Scandinavian folklore, Trolls occupy a unique and multifaceted role that transcends the mere depiction of mythical creatures. Their presence in these narratives serves various functions, from embodying the untamed and unpredictable forces of nature to acting as moral compasses within the stories. The role of trolls in folklore is a testament to the human need to personify and understand the world's mysteries and dangers through storytelling. One of the most enduring roles of trolls in folklore is that of nature's guardians. This portrayal likely stems from their origins in Norse mythology, where they were closely associated with the earth and its elements. Forest trolls, mountain trolls, and others are often depicted as deeply connected to the specific landscapes they inhabit, suggesting a symbiotic relationship between these beings and the natural world. In many stories, trolls are the stewards of forests, mountains, and rivers, protecting these realms from the encroachments of humans. This role reflects a broader theme in folklore, the respect for and fear of nature's power. Trolls frequently appear as antagonists in folklore, posing challenges to human protagonists. 
Their depiction as obstacles to be overcome or outwitted reflects the human struggle against the unknown, and uncontrollable aspects of the world. In tales like The Three Billy Goats Gruff, the troll under the bridge serves as a literal and metaphorical barrier that the goats must outsmart to reach greener pastures. These stories often carry underlying moral lessons about courage, cleverness, and the virtues of facing one's fears. Trolls also serve as symbols of the other in folklore, representing the fears and prejudices of society towards that which is different or misunderstood. Their portrayal as grotesque and often malevolent beings mirrors the human tendency to demonize the unknown. However, some stories also offer a more nuanced view, presenting trolls as misunderstood creatures with their own cultures and societies. This duality reflects the complexity of human interactions with the other, inviting reflection on themes of tolerance, empathy, and the arbitrary nature of societal norms. Many troll tales are imbued with moral and ethical lessons, making them an important tool for social and cultural education. Through the actions and fates of trolls, these stories communicate values such as honesty, humility, and the importance of respecting nature. The cunning required to defeat a troll often highlights the value of intelligence over brute strength, suggesting a preference for peaceful resolution of conflicts. Additionally, tales where trolls are defeated by sunlight or trickery emphasize the triumph of good over evil, light over darkness, and knowledge over ignorance. Trolls, in their myriad forms, are a reflection of Scandinavian cultural identity, encapsulating the values, fears, and aspirations of the societies that created them. They are a link to a mythic past, serving as a reminder of a time when the world was more enchanted and mysterious. The persistence of troll folklore in the modern age speaks to its adaptability and the continued relevance of its themes, protection of the natural world, the value of cleverness, and the importance of community and cooperation. The role of trolls in folklore is as diverse as the landscapes they inhabit. From guardians of the natural world to symbols of societal fears and values, trolls encapsulate the human experience in all its complexity. They challenge us to confront our fears, to respect the power of nature, and to consider the consequences of our actions. As we delve into the stories of trolls, we are not just exploring tales of mythical creatures, but engaging with a living tradition that continues to evolve, reflecting and shaping the values of the societies that cherish these narratives. Through the lens of folklore, trolls offer a rich medium for exploring the depths of human nature and the mysteries of the world around us. The evolution of troll mythology from ancient folklore to contemporary narratives reveals a dynamic interplay between tradition and modernity. As society progresses, the themes associated with trolls have adapted, reflecting current values, fears, and aspirations. This section explores how trolls have been reimagined in modern contexts, serving as vessels for new interpretations and messages that resonate with today's audiences. In modern literature and media, trolls have undergone significant transformation. No longer confined to the antagonistic roles of their folklore origins, they are now complex characters that can embody a range of qualities, from malevolent to benevolent. This shift is evident in fantasy literature, where trolls might be depicted as noble savages, misunderstood outcasts, or even heroic figures. J.R.R. Tolkien's Middle-Earth Legendarium, for instance, presents trolls as formidable enemies, yet also as beings capable of complex emotions and societies, a theme further explored in various adaptations and reinterpretations. Similarly, in children's literature and animated films, trolls often appear as lovable, misunderstood creatures who seek acceptance and friendship, such as in the Trolls movie franchise. These adaptations highlight themes of diversity, tolerance, and the importance of looking beyond surface appearances, mirroring contemporary societal issues. Modern portrayals of trolls also delve into psychological and societal themes, using these mythical creatures to explore complex issues such as identity, social exclusion, and the nature of evil. In this context, trolls can symbolize the internal and external struggles individuals face in their quest for belonging and understanding. This psychological depth adds layers to the narrative, inviting readers and viewers to reflect on their own experiences and prejudices. 
The concept of the troll has also been extended metaphorically to describe certain behaviors in the digital realm, particularly on social media platforms. Internet of trolling, the act of posting inflammatory, irrelevant, or offensive comments to provoke or upset others, draws on the traditional troll's love of chaos and disruption. This modern appropriation of the troll myth highlights concerns about anonymity, cyberbullying, and the darker aspects of online interactions. In an age increasingly concerned with environmental issues, trolls have become symbols of nature's majesty and vulnerability. Modern narratives often depict trolls as guardians of the earth, highlighting the importance of preserving natural habitats and living in harmony with the environment. This theme resonates with contemporary movements for environmental conservation and sustainability, using the ancient myth to comment on urgent modern challenges. The globalization of culture has facilitated the spread of troll mythology beyond its Scandinavian roots, introducing these creatures to a worldwide audience. This global reach has led to a fusion of themes and interpretations, with trolls being incorporated into diverse cultural narratives. In this context, Trolls serve as a bridge between cultures, offering a shared mythological framework through which universal themes of fear, curiosity, and respect for nature can be explored. Trolls, in their journey from the misty forests of Norse and Scandinavian folklore to the global stage of modern media, have proven to be remarkably adaptable figures. Their evolution reflects our changing world, embodying the fears, hopes, and dreams of each new generation. By embracing both the dark and light aspects of these mythical beings, modern themes surrounding trolls invite us to reflect on the complexity of human nature, the power of empathy, and the urgent need to protect our natural world. In doing so, trolls continue to enchant and educate, reminding us of the enduring power of mythology to illuminate the human condition. The mythological troll has undergone a remarkable transformation evolving from a feared and often malevolent figure in ancient folklore to a multifaceted symbol in popular culture. This evolution reflects broader societal changes as well as the adaptability of myth to new contexts and media. Trolls have not only survived into the modern era but have thrived, becoming iconic figures in literature, film, video games, and internet culture. The journey of trolls into the heart of popular culture can be traced back to key literary works that reimagined these creatures for new audiences. J.R.R. Tolkien's The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings are seminal in this regard, presenting trolls as both formidable enemies and tragic figures, bound by ancient curses and capable of rudimentary thoughts and emotions. Tolkien's trolls, derived from his deep knowledge of Norse mythology, bridged the gap between the ancient and the modern capturing the imagination of readers worldwide. This literary tradition has continued with authors like Terry Pratchett, whose Disc World series offers a humorous and satirical take on trolls, depicting them as sentient beings made of rock, with their own culture and society. Pratchett's trolls are not just monsters, they are police officers, philosophers, and citizens, challenging traditional perceptions and engaging with contemporary issues such as racism and social justice. In film, trolls have been depicted in a variety of ways, from the terrifying creatures in Troll Hunter, a dark fantasy film that plays with the concept of trolls as dangerous beings hidden from modern society, to the lovable, singing characters in DreamWorks, Trolls animated movies. These films showcase the versatility of troll mythology, adapting and reinterpreting it for both horror and family entertainment genres. Video games have also played a significant role in popularizing trolls, often drawing on traditional myths to create complex worlds inhabited by these creatures. Games like World of Warcraft featured trolls as a playable race with their own rich history and culture, allowing players to explore new narratives and perspectives within the troll mythos. The internet has given rise to a new interpretation of the troll, particularly through the phenomenon of trolling. This practice, where individuals post provocative or offensive content to elicit reactions, draws metaphorically on the idea of the troll as a creature that delights in chaos and disruption. While vastly different from their mythological origins, internet trolls embody the adaptability of the concept, reflecting contemporary concerns about online behavior and communication. The cultural impact of trolls in popular media has been significant 
influencing not only entertainment but also our understanding of mythology and folklore. By bringing these ancient creatures into contemporary settings, artists and creators have invited audiences to reconsider the boundaries between myth and reality, the natural and the supernatural, and the past and the present. As trolls continue to evolve within popular culture, they serve as a mirror for societal values and concerns. From environmentalism and social justice to the complexities of online interaction. This ongoing evolution ensures that trolls remain relevant, not just as figures of fantasy, but as symbols of the human capacity for imagination, empathy, and transformation. Trolls in popular culture represent a fascinating blend of ancient myth and modern interpretation. Through literature, film, video games, and internet culture, they have become symbols of complexity challenging traditional narratives and inviting deeper exploration of themes relevant to contemporary society. As cultural artifacts, trolls exemplify the enduring power of folklore to adapt, survive, and thrive in the collective imagination, ensuring their place in our stories and myths for generations to come. In the vast, interconnected realm of the internet, a modern incarnation of the troll has emerged, far removed from the mythical creatures of ancient folklore yet embodying a similarly disruptive spirit. Internet trolling, a phenomenon that has evolved with the digital age, represents the darker aspects of online interaction, where anonymity and the absence of physical presence embolden individuals to engage in behaviors that sow discord, provoke conflict, and inflict distress. This section explores the complex landscape of internet trolling, its psychological underpinnings, societal impact, and the challenges it poses to digital communication and community. Internet trolling is defined as the act of sending or posting inflammatory, insidious, or off-topic messages in online communities, such as forums, chat rooms, and social media platforms, with the intent of provoking readers into an emotional response or disrupting normal on-topic discussion. The term troll in this context draws metaphorically from the Norse trolls known for their love of chaos and mischief though the internet troll seeks not bridges to guard but reactions to provoke. The origins of internet trolling can be traced back to the early days of the internet, where the relative anonymity and novelty of online forums created a breeding ground for this type of behavior. Initially, trolling might have been considered a form of online jesting or a test of the boundaries of digital communities, but it has since evolved into a more malicious activity with significant psychological and social implications. The act of trolling is deeply rooted in the psychological dynamics of power, anonymity, and the absence of traditional social restraints. Anonymity provides a cloak of invisibility that emboldens individuals to say things they might not dare to in face-to-face -face interactions, driven by a desire for attention, a sense of superiority, or the thrill of causing disruption. This behavior is further fueled by the online disinhibition effect, where the lack of immediate feedback and the impersonal nature of digital communication encourage individuals to detach from their actions and the consequences thereof. The societal impact of internet trolling is far-reaching, affecting not only the victims but the quality of online discourse as a whole. Trolling can lead to emotional distress, exacerbate mental health issues, and, in extreme cases, drive individuals to self-harm or suicide. It undermines the sense of community and safety that online platforms strive to create, discouraging participation and stifling constructive dialogue. Moreover, trolling has evolved beyond individual acts of disruption to organized campaigns targeting specific groups or individuals, often with political or ideological motives. This coordinated form of trolling, sometimes referred to as brigading, represents a significant challenge to the moderation of online spaces and the protection of freedom of speech while ensuring a safe environment for all users. Addressing the dark side of internet trolling involves a multifaceted approach that includes technological solutions, community management strategies, and legal frameworks. Platform owners and moderators employ a range of tools, from automated filters and reporting mechanisms to community guidelines and moderation policies, in an effort to curb trolling behavior. However, these measures often raise questions about censorship, privacy, and the balance between protecting users and preserving open dialogue. Legal responses to trolling vary by country, 
with some jurisdictions implementing laws specifically targeting online harassment and cyberbullying. These laws aim to hold trolls accountable for their actions. Although the global nature of the internet and issues of jurisdiction present significant enforcement challenges, the phenomenon of internet trolling highlights the darker aspects of digital culture, where the freedoms afforded by online anonymity and communication can be exploited to harm and harass. Understanding the motivations behind trolling and its impact on individuals and communities is crucial in developing effective strategies to combat this behavior. As digital spaces continue to evolve, so too must our approaches to fostering environments that encourage positive interaction, respect, and empathy, ensuring that the internet remains a space for constructive engagement rather than a bridge under which trolls lurk. The figure of the troll, deeply rooted in Norse mythology and Scandinavian folklore, extends its influence far beyond the realms of literature and digital culture, making significant imprints in the world of art and symbolism. This section delves into the depiction of trolls in various artistic mediums, exploring their symbolic meanings and the ways in which they have been represented and reimagined through time. Throughout history, trolls have captivated the imagination of artists, inspiring a diverse array of representations that range from the grotesque and terrifying to the whimsical and endearing. In the early days, Trolls were often depicted in a manner that emphasized their connection to the natural world and their role as formidable beings of the wild. These depictions were not just literal, they were imbued with symbolic meaning, reflecting the artists' and society's views on nature, the supernatural, and the unknown. As art evolved, so did the portrayal of trolls, with each era bringing its own interpretations and styles. In the Romantic period, for example, Artists fascinated by folklore and mythology depicted trolls in a way that highlighted their mysterious and otherworldly qualities, often using them to symbolize the sublime and untamed aspects of nature. This was a time when the natural landscape was celebrated for its beauty and terror, and trolls fit perfectly into this aesthetic, embodying the raw, uncontrolled forces of the wilderness. In modern and contemporary art, trolls have been reinterpreted through various lenses, from political and social commentary to explorations of identity and otherness. Artists have used the figure of the troll to challenge societal norms, to question the boundaries between humanity and nature, and to explore themes of alienation and belonging. These works often play with the traditional characteristics of trolls, subverting expectations and inviting viewers to see beyond the surface. The symbolism of trolls in art is as varied as their representations. At its core, the troll embodies the dualities of nature and culture, serving as a bridge between the civilized world and the wild unknown. This makes the troll a potent symbol for exploring themes of fear, curiosity, and the human instinct to categorize and control the natural world. Trolls also symbolize the marginal, the outcast, and the other. In this sense, they can represent anything from personal fears and insecurities to societal attitudes toward difference and diversity. The ambiguity and fluidity of troll symbolic meanings allow artists to use them as mirrors reflecting personal and collective anxieties, hopes, and dreams. Furthermore, in the context of environmental art and activism, trolls have been used as symbols of nature's resilience and mystery. They remind us of our deep, often forgotten connections to the earth and its non-human inhabitants, urging a reconsideration of our role as stewards of the planet. Trolls have also found their way into public and performance art, where they often take on a more interactive and communal role. Sculptures and installations inspired by trolls can be found in parks, forests, and urban spaces, inviting passers-by to engage with folklore in a tangible way. These works not only celebrate cultural heritage, but also transform ordinary landscapes into spaces of enchantment and reflection. In performance art, trolls are used to challenge conventional forms of storytelling and representation, pushing the boundaries of what art can be and do. Through costumes, masks, and theatricality, performers embody trolls to explore issues of identity, transformation, and the blurred lines between reality and fantasy. The representation of trolls in art and symbolism is a testament to their enduring appeal and the rich layers of meaning they carry. From ancient carvings to contemporary installations, trolls continue to inspire artists to explore the boundaries of the imagination, 
the complexities of human and non-human relations, and the ever-present tension between the known and the unknown. As symbols, trolls are as versatile as they are ancient, capable of holding multiple meanings and inviting endless interpretations, making them a fascinating subject for artistic exploration and reflection. The journey through the world of trolls from their mythological origins in the ancient forests of Scandinavia to their modern incarnations in digital realms, and contemporary art reveals a complex tapestry of belief, culture, and imagination that spans centuries. Trolls, as we have seen, are not merely mythical creatures of the past, they are vibrant symbols of the human experience, embodying our deepest fears, our greatest challenges, and our unending fascination with the unknown. This exploration has traced the evolution of trolls from feared entities lurking on the fringes of human habitation to nuanced characters that inhabit our stories, art, and online interactions. We have witnessed how trolls have been reimagined and reinterpreted to suit the needs of different eras, serving as mirrors to society's evolving values, anxieties, and hopes. In folklore, Trolls served as cautionary figures, embodying the dangers of the wild and the consequences of hubris. In literature and film, they have become complex characters that challenge our preconceptions about otherness and remind us of the importance of empathy and understanding. The digital age has given rise to a new kind of troll, one that thrives in the anonymity and vastness of the internet. This modern iteration, while vastly different in form and function from its mythological counterparts, serves as a stark reminder of the darker aspects of human nature and the challenges of fostering positive communication in an increasingly connected world. Yet, even here, the troll retains its symbolic power, prompting us to confront the complexities of identity, community, and responsibility in the digital era. In the realm of art, trolls continue to inspire creativity and reflection, serving as potent symbols for exploring themes of alienation, environmentalism, and the human condition. Through various artistic mediums, trolls are reimagined in ways that challenge conventional narratives and invite viewers to engage with deeper questions about nature, society, and the self. Ultimately, the enduring fascination with trolls speaks to a universal human instinct to make sense of the world through myth and story. Trolls, in all their varied forms, act as bridges between the known and the unknown, the human and the natural the past and the present. They remind us that the world is full of mystery and wonder, that the margins of society hold lessons for the center, and that understanding and empathy can be found in the most unexpected places. As we move forward, the figure of the troll will undoubtedly continue to evolve, reflecting new fears, challenges, and understandings. Yet, the core of what makes trolls captivating, their ability to embody the liminal, to challenge, and to enchant, will remain unchanged. In this way, trolls are more than just mythical creatures, they are a testament to the power of imagination to transcend boundaries, to transform the familiar into the extraordinary, and to remind us of the endless possibilities contained within the stories we tell about ourselves and the world around us. In closing, the exploration of trolls, from ancient myths to modern themes, reveals not just the rich tapestry of human belief and creativity, but also a mirror reflecting our ongoing quest to understand the complex, sometimes frightening, often wondrous world in which we live. Trolls, in their myriad guises, continue to walk the shadowed paths of our imagination, inviting us to follow, to question, and to dream. As we conclude our journey through the enthralling and multifaceted world of trolls, from their mistrouded origins in Norse mythology to their contemporary incarnations in the vast landscapes of the internet, and the vibrant canvases of modern art, we are reminded of the enduring power of these mythical beings to captivate our imagination and reflect our deepest fears and aspirations. Trolls, in their myriad forms, serve as a bridge between the ancient and the modern, the tangible and the mythical, offering us a window into the collective psyche of humanity across ages. They challenge us to confront our preconceptions, to delve deeper into the unknown, and to appreciate the rich tapestry of myth and legend that forms the backdrop of our existence. As we navigate the complexities of our digital age, where trolls no longer merely dwell under ancient bridges but also lurk in the shadows of our online communities, the lessons from these mythical creatures are more relevant than ever. 
They remind us of the importance of empathy, understanding, and the critical need for fostering positive discourse in an increasingly connected world. The saga of trolls, from their folklore roots to their present-day iterations, is a testament to the enduring allure of storytelling and its power to bridge worlds, cultures, and generations. It invites us to embrace the mysteries of the world with wonder, to engage with the unknown with curiosity, and to weave our own stories into the ever-evolving narrative of human history. We hope this exploration into the world of trolls has sparked your imagination and offered you new insights into these fascinating creatures of myth and legend. If you've enjoyed this journey through the shadowy realms of trolls, consider delving deeper into the mysteries that await in the corners of folklore and mythology. And remember, if you've been enthralled by the tales of trolls and the shadows they cast across our cultural landscape, don't hesitate to like, subscribe, and share the Night Terrors Network. Join us as we continue to explore the depths of the unknown, uncovering the stories that linger in the dark corners of the world and the human mind. Together, let's keep the flame of curiosity alive, shining a light on the mysteries that bind us across time and space. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the realm of trolls. Until next time, keep the torch of exploration burning bright, and may your path through the night be guided by the stars of wonder and the whispers of the ancient world.